When you think of the interior seaway that went through here, and, and this cut the United States. So this part at that time was this niche of its own uh, environment. Uh, so the dinosaurs and a lot of the reptiles you find here, the species only is found in the Bistai and in the, in the Fruitland Formation in this area. They find it nowhere else in the United States. And so they're just unique for the Bistai. And, uh, and that all comes from this, this ancient environment of, of how they were surviving then and living. So this area at that time along that beach had perfect environment for life. And so you had all these animals that, that were evolving on their own in here and, and surviving in here and, and didn't travel, you know, up or down and mingle with other dinosaurs. So they evolved and changed. So we have a lot of unique species for just here. I think what uh, fascinates people the most when they come out here is they're coming out here in a desert. You know, what they would think is this is a desert environment. And at the time that these sediments were deposited, you know, we're talking about the reign of the dinosaur, you know, 60 to 85 million years ago, and very tropical. This was, um, there was an interior seaway that went through, and so these sediments were all deposited uh, um, near shore or back shore environments. All the black beds you see out here are preserved ancient swamplands, in which are very, very rich in fossil life. You've got the animals that lived in the swamps, plus the animals that came around the edges and survived in the tropical environment. And then as you get over into these red beds, these are the, the burnt coal seams that were burnt underground at depth. And now, because of erosion, they're now exposed.